So we have a massive update for uh, the first descendant in Hotfix 1.0.2. Devs talk about the community's concern in regards to nerves, to the tamer and descendants and much, much more. Today, we're getting to it all. How's it going, guys? My name's DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. Tell me if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the patch, the Hotfix of 1.0.2 is live right now. Arrived Thursday. Okay, and targeted platforms, obviously Steam, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PS4 and PS5. Now, everything we will discuss will be timestamped down below if you want to skip to a certain point. But let's get into it, people, and starting with content improvements. Added the start public operation function, matchmaking, to infiltration operations on hard. Start public operation is available even if you change the selected reward. But if you select an additional reward, only the start private operation will be available. Remove the sequential type immunity spheres from named monsters. Cool, amazing. They have been changed to either the default or extermination types. What we like to see people. Now they follow up with a couple of directors comments. So yeah, let's get into that. The dev team acknowledges the community's concern about the monotonous patterns of named monsters and strive to enhance them. In particular, we've noticed that the pattern involving breaking spheres in a specific order isn't appropriate for public matching. And like so true people, it's so annoying as well and have decided to remove it immediately. Wow, they're on top of this game, people, they really are. As new patterns are developed, we will soon update the patterns of existing named monsters one by one. As named monsters frequently appear in hard difficulty and special operations, we will continue working towards diversifying their patterns. Pretty cool. Okay, so they go on to say, increase the quantity of rare basic materials dropped from encrypted vaults threefold. Nice. The elite vulgus that appear in field missions and infiltration operations will now drop them too. Another director's comment. The most efficient way to farm basic rare materials is still through encrypted vaults. But for those who prefer hunting monsters, we have updated field missions and infiltration operations to drop these materials too. The dev team will closely monitor the overall farming status and do our best to create a joyful environment for all of our descendants. Reduce the time from 290 seconds to 260 second occupations for the Kingston Vulgus Data Transmitter Hacking Mission. Improve the Battle Pass Supply Shop button's visibility by redesigning it in the format of the Bonus Shop banner. Directors coming again. You can get season limited skins for free from the battle supplies shop. Complete pre-season challenges to claim your special skins. Update the library window from closing when the map is opened and closed through the acquisition information pop up. Improve the duration of party invitation messages to make them easy to confirm and accept. Improve the duration of the descendants instructors lines. And again, directors coming. Many descendants have commented that the descendants instructor dialogue contains many useful game tips. Currently, it is not possible to revisit previous dialogues, but we are planning to fix this. We will continue to make improvements so that descendants can easily access the information they require. And finally, under this section, move guide uh, the NPC uh, you meet after the first arrival in Albion closer. Cool. Okay, so optimization improvements, PC. Uh, improve the stability of the shared air preparation process by reducing the CPU load during shared generation. Currently, we are actively monitoring this issue. If you have encountered issues uh, with a 13th or 14th gen Intel, please refer to that link there. But I will link the entire patch notes in the uh, video description, people. Okay, so game PC, low GPU memory usage when set at high or higher quality. PC again, fix an issue where character skins were displayed abnormally in low graphic settings intermittently during extended play. PC, fix a bug that allowed frame limits to be set when using Nvidia and AMD's frame generation. And common, fix an issue where shadows were intermittently displayed abnormally depending on the view. Common again, they state made various other fixes for optimization purposes and we will continuously monitor them. Okay, so on to now bug fixes. UI and UX, fix an issue displaying unused items in the library. Okay, so now onto descendants. 
fixed an issue where descendants could not get out of down but not out when their HP was below a uh, minus 100% from module settings. Fixed an issue where Kyle would occasionally go up into the air when using the superconductivity thrusters during repulsion dash. And they are fixing the issue where Simo would not get back up while using the Archer Explosion and being inflicted with not back. Okay, so now onto modules. Fix an issue where the increase in fire team attack per stack in the sharp precision shot module was summed instead of multiplied. Okay, so now onto equipment. Fix an issue where a weapon's attribute damage did not apply uh, damage over 100,000. Fix an issue where higher values were displayed as the ultimate gold option despite the reactor's skill cooldown and still cost. Stats being preferably with lower values. Fix an issue where lower values were displayed as the ultimate gold option despite the weapon change speed stat being preferably with higher values. Okay, so now on to field. Fix an issue where amorphous material pattern 118 and shade stabilizer form 8 were not dropped at the Frozen Valley Vulgus strategic outpost in Fortress on hard. Uh, fix an issue where elite Vulgus in the White Knight Gulch upper hatchery battlefield missions did not drop rewards. And fix an issue where monster spawning was interrupted at some Vulgus strategic outposts. Okay, so instance dungeon fix an issue where vespers resource box materials were dropped from the echo swamp agna desert white night gulch hagias and fortress infiltration operation resource boxes research fix an issue where the core materials of ultimate descendants were incorrectly displayed as rare instead of ultimate tier Okay, so miscellaneous, and these are all in French by the way, fix an issue where the go to title screen menu was displayed in the same phrase as exit game. Fix an issue in the story where ultimate chimera was used for dreadful abomination. And added missing words in the probability display for executioner uh, tier 3 set 4. And lastly, guys, we get additional comments from the directors here. Uh, it has come to our attention that the community is worried about possible nerfs to the Tamer and Glaze Infinite Magazine builds. This meta is very strong, but since it's within the scope of what the dev team has planned, there are no immediate plans to do so. In addition, some weapons are more powerful than Tamer, and there are a variety of character builds that rival Glaze Infinite Magazine, so please enjoy them fully. We've been looking forward to seeing Descendants use creative builds to take down powerful Colossi swiftly, so we're quite delighted to see this in action now. We are well aware that as many Descendants begin farming the Earnest, various discussions are taking place regarding drop rates. There is no viable drop rate system in the first Descendant, we are using the fixed rates displayed in the game. The dev team has reviewed the acquisition rates across all servers and confirmed that they are dropping according to the rates displayed. We are currently working on various measures to ensure the community can trust the dev team, such as disclosing item drop amounts for each content. And we also prepare ways to improve the farming experience. The first descendant will continue to communicate transparently and honestly. And well guys, this is what I love to see from a dev team. Being open, being honest, communicating fully, this is what I love to see. And yeah, guys, fans of Tamer, fans of Glaze, infinite uh, magazine builds, no plans to change these, nerf these are currently in the works. So that's great, great news. Let us feel like superheroes. This is what I love from a dev team, I really do. But yes, guys, tell me your thoughts down below. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.